kind of form, make it form a little bit bigger than the bottom of the bowl, like that big or so. Should do it. So you want like eh, at least an inch around the circumference okay. of the can. Like so. So gloves are real nice because this stuff will kind of stick for the rest of your life if you let it. So you really have to shake the heck out of it. So it just screws on like that. Um, it's kind of best to do both fingers. You could do one, but like this. So you want to put down just a little bit, just about the size of the bottom of the bowl. Kind of as straight as you can get it. We'll put our mold, our form. And it's just be real slow and easy, otherwise you'll get this kind of situation. Which is not ideal, obviously. <laughs> so it's a little easier to reach down. As centered as possible and you can kind of reach down better and just you know get it kind of like doing things to a cake I guess I don't bake I don't either okay well am I doing <laughs> things to insulate your walls <laughs> And that's kind of it. Yeah, and this is good too, so then you can kind of see whether you want to put the lid on beforehand. It depends mm -hmm. how easily you can find it, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. um, you might just, yeah, want to do it totally it's separate. Not straight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mine is totally leaning over already. Yeah, you have tons of time though. I mean, oh, yeah. you probably have a couple few hours to be able to manipulate it so it's straight. Mine's starting to tell that the edge is over here. <laughs> it's like rising. Yeah, and so this was just peeled off from the bottom. I think sometimes Todd will cut it or sand it to make it smoother, but it doesn't really match just the aesthetics. So. Okay, and what do you cut it with? Like a bread knife. Oh, okay. Really, it's kind of easiest. Um, okay. Just because you have the length and it's serrated. Mm -hmm. 